everyone, it's Kay. Welcome to my guide for Poison Spiders or Cardist. It has a good balance of survivability, DPS, and clear speed. However, the DPS has a ramp up time due to the poison mechanic. And the spiders are temporary minions, so you will need to resummon them during maps and long boss fights. The build uses a lot of uniques and has a high overall cost. After the showcase, I will talk about how the build works, including how to summon spiders, the passives Ascendancy and Pantheon, and gear including gems and links.
our contests, for it continues to play. Oracle is fun with its fast-moving, aggressive spiders that cannot die. They do physical and chaos damage, and have 100% chance to poison. Ancient Skull gives the spiders increased crit chance, attack speed, and damage. The negative effect doesn't affect them. The Occultist works best for scaling the spider's poison because it's chaos damage. She also gets an extra cast, and Profane Bloom helps with clear speed. For support minions, the build uses a Carrion Golem for added physical damage, a Carnage Chieftain for frenzy charges, and a Horse Chieftain for power charges. For survivability, the build stacks armor to reduce physical damage and block chance to avoid attacks and spells. For sustain, there's life recovery when you kill, and ES recovery when you block. The build also uses two defensive classes to reduce damage and slow down enemies. To summon spiders, cast the secret to make corpses near your character, hold Divine Aya, and use the Riding Jar Flask. Two worms will come out. And then Divine Aya's charging aura will kill the worms and summon the spiders from the corpses. Here is the passive tree for the build. There are 4 key features. 2 extra passive points from killing all bandits in Act 2, Charisma Anointed on Amulet, 7 Masteries, and 2 sets of Cluster Jaws. There are two sets of cluster jaws. The large jaws are minion damage with 8 points. The important notable is Vicious Bite, and I also have Renewal and Feasting Fiends to help keep the support minions alive. In the cluster sockets, I have Fortress Covenant, Quickening Covenant, Surging Vitality, and Enduring Composure for endurance charges. In the four jaw sockets, I have Amanamu's Gaze and Three Ghastly Eye Jewels. The ascendancies for the build are Malediction, Profane Bloom, Void Beacon, and Withering Presence. For the Pantheons, Lunaris for avoiding damage and Rislasa for refilling the Rising Jar Flask. Here is an overview of the gear including gems and links. For the helmet, use Ancient Skull to give your spiders increased crit chance, attack speed, and damage. I recommend the 12 person Spirit Offering Enchant. The gems are Desecrate, Spirit Offering, Flame Dash, and Molten Shell. For the body armor, I like to use a crafty rare with recover life on kill. Another option is Blast Storm for more armor and max res. The gems are Ray Spectre, Carry On Golem, Anomalous Control Destruction, Feeding Frenzy, Minion Life, and Empower. Anomalous Control Destruction stops your support minions from doing any critical strikes, so they won't get the Chaos Degen from Ancient Skull. The gloves are grave bind to proc the life recovery on the body armor. The gems are despair, enfeeble, temp chains, and blasphemy. For the boots, I'm using wind shriek to get an extra cast and increase cast AOE. The gems are determination, defiance banner, tempest shield, and enlighten. The weapon is Avocalis Fang to raise spiders. The gems are Multi Strike, Withering Touch, and Increased Critical Damage. For your shield, I recommend Aegis Aurora. The gems are Divine Naya, Foul Haste, and Generosity. Do not reserve the Haste Aura. We just want Foul Haste for a speed boost against bosses. For the amulet, 
Use the despair in presence so that the despair aura has no mana reserve. The anointment is charisma for extra mana reservation efficiency. Because the bear uses a lot of uniques, use the rings to get as much life and resistances as possible. For the belt, use a stygian vice or darkness and thorn to socket more ghastly eye jewels. The most important flask is riding jar to summon spiders. And for the other flasks, I like to use life, granite, quicksilver, and quartz. For the effect, I recommend getting bleed, freeze and chill, and burning removal. As always, a big thank you to my patrons. Thank you for your ongoing support and encouragement. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this field guide. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.